baby, come give me something, oh Baby, come give me something, oh Hi girls, welcome back to my channel. I am Dochi and I am so excited to be back. I am feeling so much better, girl. I had to evacuate out of New York City, honey. I could not do it. I had to come back to Georgia. I had to come back home and I am feeling so much better, so much safer. Um, just a little bit further away from Miss Rona because she is taking over the North. She's taking over the north. So I really hope that everybody and their families are doing okay. Today's video is gonna be really exciting, especially for all of my like aspiring creatives out there. You already read the title, so you know what's up. I'm going to be taking you guys with me in a day in the life of a full-time creative. If you've never seen my face before, hi. I am Dochi, I'm a full-time creative, and I do a little bit of everything in the world of arts and entertainment. And you guys are going to get a glimpse of what it is that I'm going to be doing today. I have a lot of footage. The way this video is organized, I wasn't doing a lot of like talking to the camera. It's really just all footage of what was going on. So I'm going to be narrating. We're going to do this video real like love and hip hop tease. Okay, I'm going to be <laughs> I'm going to be narrating the whole thing. It's going to be awesome. Um, oh, and also I just wanted to let y'all know, you know, just throwing it in there. I have a goal to hit 50,000 subscribers by July, and so I'm ready, I'm ready. We're busting out the videos. I wanna hit this goal. I want the community to grow. It's time. I feel like I've been in this same place for way too long, and I'm done. So subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Share it with your mom, your friends, your dog, your goldfish, anybody. Share it with everybody. Make sure you let them know about I Am Dochi TV. So without further ado, let's get into the day. I woke up bright and early, girlfriend. Bright and early so that I could go to Installation Brooklyn because I had a shoot to do with Nina London. Hi, my name is Nina London. Yes. I for a living. Body. Niku. Um, welcome to my channel. This is no longer Dochi's channel. This is my channel now. Taking over. I'm taking over. And oh damn, what's her name? Mabla Casa. I'm not good with pronouncing Instagram names, but I'm gonna have her Instagram up here. She's dope as hell. Um, she's a model, artist, overall creative. So is Nico and Nina London. You guys are gonna see a lot more from them when it comes to my videos um, because they're also some creatives who do a little bit of it all and they're located in New York City. Now, I mentioned in my last video what Installation Brooklyn was, but not a lot of people, it only had like maybe 200 views. Not a lot of people was interested in the styling video. It's okay, it's okay, I get it, I get it. I completely get it. Anyway, so I went to Installation Brooklyn. Installation Brooklyn is a vintage couture shop that's... <laughs> Installation Brooklyn is a vintage couture shop that's located in Nostrand, Brooklyn. The owner, Margot Hughes, invited all of us out because she wanted us to help her photograph um, items for the website because the brand is deciding to go online. Nonetheless, me and the girls got straight inside of the photo studio and we got to work, period. hitting like three o'clock I was like look y'all I got a studio session it's time for me to go so I went hurried up got on the subway headed over to um my engineer's house so I had to go over there because I need to knock out a feature for another artist Mike Escanor and then I also needed to negotiate with him the cost of my album because I am working on an album that's coming out very soon it was predicted to be coming out in April but due with the certain conditions of our country that has been postponed but nonetheless we're still working on it and everything is going to plan so I had to go there you know get some get some steam off record this feature for this artist and negotiate with him the price of my album 
I look so stupid. <laughs> It just said the week. You been ducking me. I know where you sleep. You don't want to see, bitch. You gonna run me that? Knocking on your door. Tag on your toe. You know how it... Uh, wait, let me hear the last bottom I did. Where was I? Yep. My Instagram is rtfurtado. A-R-T-Y F-U-R-T-A-D-O I'm scared about this next part. <laughs> Why? Because it's hard. I don't do like screaming yeah. rap. So it's going to be really awkward. Bitch! Don't. Bitch! I don't. Bitch, you the fuck Oh, Don't give a fuck I won't! Bitch! You need a break. Play that shit back. <laughs> be completely honest with y'all what Mike had me doing was completely out of my comfort zone I'm not like a rage artist I don't do all of that screaming so my throat was hurting my throat was hurting I had to dig so deep to find the anchor let me try one more time mm -hmm. yeah delete that tape that I just did why it's not a good tape why Put you the fuck Look, I had to find anything that I was angry about. It was insane, but I've never done Rage before, so it was really cool to get the experience to try something different, and the song came out bomb. And if you're not, you need to follow Mike Escanor. He's an amazing artist. He's based in Tampa, Florida. And um, the song is actually going to be coming out soon. So we're anticipating that it'll be out maybe next month or the month after, but within the next two months. So that was super exciting. Um, after that, I ended up negotiating the price of the album with RTM and we came with a really cool agreement. And so um, we scheduled to start working with each other the following week after, which I will have footage for. Now, I was tired. By then, I was up from 7 in the morning, worked with Artheum until the late night hours. I needed to go home. I needed to decompress, but I still had another meeting that I needed to go to. And so that meeting was also to discuss the logistics and production side of the album. needed to decompress I had to go home so I made me a rose water bath decompressed and I was like girls I will see you later after I was all decompressed and I got a chance to just kind of relax a bit I got my stuff together and headed over to Yitten's we made sure that we had our liquor we made sure that we had our other substances that will not be mentioned in this video and we got the meeting done so scene one I think the things that we need and you Correct me if there's anything, but I think we, scene A, I think we would need a table or a desk. We'd need textbooks, we need sparkly pencils, gel pens, a Lisa Frank notebook, a Junie B. Jones book, a chair and a backdrop. And I just brought my backdrop holder from Minnesota. So that would help. And here are some images of the set. So we can make everybody who's in it would come together and we'd have a meeting. But then also symbolically, as artists, we are our teachers and our students. I feel like we're both. And the point of this mixtape is basically just what I'm experiencing right now, which is my creative recovery. So I'm just digging up old skeletons and demons from my past and dealing with those and just telling my story on how I became who I am, but I'm coaching myself through this which, trauma. Which That's really also, when is. you but when you say that, it makes more sense to me to do the scene because that's literally what you're doing now. You're literally, you're unpacking your right. shit. Right, I'm unpacking Through this shit. music, through making everything you're making, you're literally unpacking, through the book that you're reading, mm -hmm. you're unpacking all of this shit 
like in the real world right mm -hmm. now and i think that can i listen it, to like the end part yeah i think it shows that this, this is stupid Cut. Dochi. In Dochi's bedroom. Holy shit! I think the I love that. I think now though, in that case, are we making them the same person? No. It's mm. uh, it shows their similarities. Right. It shows their similarities if they're in they're different rooms. Yeah. Right. If they were they I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory to some of the footage that you're about to see. One day, we went to Yin's house. It was me, Yin, and a couple of co-workers that work at her agency. And we were all, like, there for her housewarming party. So we were having this conversation. And then I brought up, since we were all creatives, how awesome, well, since we're all black women and we are creative artists, I was like, how cool would it be if we came up with a collective and basically our own independent private agency and we produced work for other people we made other people's ideas and visions for their projects and brands basically come to life and I thought that would be super cool so I kind of threw it up in the air and everybody was like it would be dope and we started talking about different ideas but when we got together for this meeting and we saw how diligent we worked together and the ideas that we came up with Niku is crazy with the camera and the video work Yin is crazy when it comes to putting production together and just making things happen. And we all have these skills. And when we put them together, I think it's going to be great. So I can't wait for you guys to see all of the finished projects that we have coming together. But we were thinking like, if we're going to be a collective, especially a black collective, we have to come up with a name. And then we had this iconic moment and we came up with the most shocking iconic name you could possibly fucking think of and the winner of this oscar is those black bitches and those you're gonna have black to bitches. say it yes. all of you those black bitches cause that's what you gonna call me when I'm tripping period anyway. period like Meg said facts. period no that's it that's facts. the name yeah, facts. Those black bitches. Put some respect on that shit. Put some. That's perfect. Put some respect you on said it. Those black bitches. When they say those black bitches, they're gonna be talking about our great work. You have I'm like, yep, yeah, those, those black bitches. Don't act like you ain't never with your right yep. ass. You said it before. Those black say bitches it. got the say Oscar. You're saying yeah, that award, yeah, bitch. yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Produced yes. and directed by those black bitches. So what's good? So what's good? What's good? Yeah, I'm down with that. It's done. Dead ass. Just think about it. Think about all the white executives one day that are going to have to announce us and they're going to have to present a fucking Grammy or Oscar to us and they're going to have to say our name. Yeah, those black bitches. Give me my, get those black bitches their award. We went over so many things in this meeting. It was unreal. So it went on till about 3 a.m. So my day started at like 7 a.m. Didn't end till about 3 o'clock. And the following day, I had to repeat a whole new list of things to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was kind of somewhat entertaining in the future i am going to make sure that i film it a little bit differently but let me know how you like the experience of me narrating what was going on or if you prefer for me to just kind of speak in the camera in real time for it to happen or in real time while it's happening and i can make that happen as well but for all the aspiring creators out there and you know if this is something that you're interested in doing i definitely want to start documenting this not only just for myself so i can look back on my own journey but as inspiration for all of my audience who are aspiring to do the same thing that i do um but i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe i really want to engage with you guys and get to know what it is that you're doing in your life and what it is that you're aspiring to do in your goals so i hope this video was both entertaining and motivational for you but that's all for now and i will see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching i love you and bye bye